This is Chicago's very own WGN News at 9. Good evening, I'm Micah Mater. And I'm Ray Cordofassi. Now at 9, a packed community meeting on the southwest side over plans to turn Daly College into a temporary shelter for asylum seekers. The concerns tonight from community members as well as the city's response. WGN's Andrea Medina is live at Daly College with more Andrea. Hi, Micah and Ray. Typically, these meetings have been met with strong opinions and heated discussions. That was no different tonight, but it remained peaceful. City officials say using some of the unoccupied spaces at Daly College will help ease the pressure felt at police stations. We've, going back to last August, we've been uh, doing our best to identify potential shelter spaces uh, across the city. Since then, nearly 10,000 migrants have arrived to Chicago from Central and South America seeking asylum. At least 700 migrants are currently living at Chicago police stations as they wait for their placement at a shelter or respite center. But many could start moving to Daly College on the southwest side as soon as June 3rd. Daly College is really the ideal solution at this time, um, given its availability and the fact that it's we will not have to uh, pay any extra rent here. During a presentation at Daly College, city officials gave an overview of the plans to use the space as a temporary housing shelter for nearly 415 asylum seekers. Provide them with cots, blankets, three meals a day, snacks, hydration, laundry services. The city college will only be used to house families with children under 18. The migrants would stay in three buildings, the gymnasium and two outdoor classrooms that haven't been used in years. It's a concept that has also been adopted at another college on the northwest side. Last weekend, we welcomed new arrivals to a temporary respite center at Wright College that I have to say is going well. The need to support the newcomers continues to be significant. Residents packed the room to ask questions, express support and opposition of the migrants move into the 18th ward. You know, nothing to do with them coming in. But my thing is, you know, you got homeless people out here. They don't have anywhere to stay. But you more concerned about the people that they brought in, you know, the immigrants more than you doing your own people here. So my thing is, you know, take care of yours here and then you can take care of the immigrants. You know, you know, try to, you know, do the people here first. I want to get a true understanding of what's going on. Why don't they have enough housing for the immigrants that came here? And, you know, they find money for everything else. And I just want to know, are they still, are they going to invest in the neighborhoods? But many challenge the city on how they were going to handle the crisis if more continue to arrive. How are you going to really provide already you're having a little difficult in placing these people as it is and where are they going to actually live permanently? The city is hoping to have hundreds of migrants move to the campus by Saturday. Since it will serve as a temporary shelter, there are plans to have them moved out from the gym by August 1st, while the other two buildings will remain available to them through November. We're live at Daly College. Andrea Medina, WGN News. Thank you, Andrea.